In this video, I'm going to show you how to actually save the differences in each snapshot using the HX Edit software. Not using the hardware, but using just HX Edit. I don't think this is anywhere on the YouTube platform. I have not seen anybody tell me any, anything about this. I just kind of discovered this by accident. Well, actually, I'll tell you how I discovered it. Actually, I didn't discover it by accident. I discovered it by reverse engineering. Okay, so. Here's the bottom line. Let's say if you want to have a snapshot one and you want to have the second one, you want to have the same thing, but you want to have a little bit less distortion, for instance, or let's say more distortion. Okay, so if we just go to a snapshot up here like this and just go to snapshot two, it used to be, I think, where you could just move this around and then it would automatically store it there on the snapshot two. And then it, when, when you would go back to snapshot one, it would go back to the normal. But as you see, it no longer does that. And so I'll tell you the reverse engineering I did later, but the, what I figured out is this, okay? So let's say you have snapshot one and snapshot two, you want more drive, okay? So how do you do it? Well, here's how you do it weirdly enough, okay? So you go to the, the, the block you want to change in the snapshot, you go to bypass controller assigned, you go to the component you want to change. So in this case, we'll say drive, and then you go here to the controller and you select snapshots, okay? So now when you go change the drive, see this thing right here? This is what made me figure it out. But anyway, so then if you want to change the drive higher, boom, that's going to be on two. But you go to one, it's no longer there. You go to two, it didn't save. It didn't save because I didn't save it, I don't think. Let me try to save it. So now, if you go to snapshot one, it goes back down to the normal, goes back to snapshot two, goes back to 10. That's it. I had to save it. So you have to save it to make it stick. By saving it, I say you go to file, save preset. Okay, so there's two different kinds of save. This, the save to save the changes, you have to do a couple different things, ending with saving the preset. Okay, so again, this is a cool discovery. And the way I figured it out is I did it the hardware way, you know, because there's a way you have to go into the hardware. You have to push the button and then spin it while you're pushing it to make it, to make it stick. And I noticed that when I did this, I saw this little camera, right? When I clicked on the little camera, it took me to this place. And I noticed that it was in the, this component was in the snapshots. So then I thought, okay, so if I can just go ahead and add that, to the snapshots a different way, then it will save the snapshots. And lo and behold, I was right. So we go back to here. Say we wanna go to snapshot three, okay? Just to show you. Okay, let's say you wanna go to snapshot three and you wanna change the, and oh, here's another thing real quick. When you click on, when you right click on these components or these blocks, you wanna make sure, oddly enough, you wanna make sure this is checked, snapshot bypass. You wanna make sure that it's checked. To me, it seems like it would be unchecked because you're bypassing the snapshot, but I don't know. Maybe, I guess maybe it adds, this is probably what it does. Snapshot bypass probably adds it to be able to be added here on the bypass screen. I don't know, maybe the bypass screen. Maybe that's what it does. But anyway, anything you want to change in the snapshots, you have to have a check here. So if you want to change the amp, make sure it's checked. Dynamics, checked, volume, Checked, verb, checked, delay, checked. Okay, so so that's the first thing. Make sure that's not unchecked. All right, so then you want to go, so again, you get a snapshot three. Let's say you want to change the glitz. I'm just going to go boop, change it, bada bing, bada boom. I'm going to go back to snapshot one. It should not be changed, right? Wrong. Oh, no, wrong, right. It, it is changed, wrong, okay? So go back, so let's go back to the, before I screwed it up. Go back to three. Okay, now go to three. Go to the verb. But first, go to the bypass. Now this is already, oh, the kinky boost is already selected. Okay, so you have to each add each block to be in this. Okay, so bypass. This time we want to add, we'll say the, the decay, boom. And then we'll add snapshots. Boom, and there should be two in there now, okay? And so now, 
when we go here to change it, let's just say, what we said decay, right? Where the heck is decay? Huh. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Let's go, when we go to here to change it, decay, see, that little thing is there. So now we can go, whoop, let's make it real long, say save. And then we go back to one, it's gone. Three, it's back. That's it. Okay, so basically the following steps are necessary in order to make the snapshots stick or to save the snapshots with HX Edit software without the hardware. Again, all you do is make sure it, this is checked and then you add it to the bypass whatever screen this is, the bypass controller assigned screen. And you add whatever one you want to change, it will put a little snapshot picture next to it and then you can adjust it thank you so much for watching this video again i don't think i've seen this anywhere else i haven't heard anybody else teach me how to just do that with hx edit and so that was kind of cool if you like this video give me a like and subscribe to see more